In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for HBr plus KHCO3. This is hydrobromic acid plus potassium. And we call this the hydrogen carbonate ion right here, or the bicarbonate ion. So for this net ionic equation, we're going to assume that the HBr is aqueous. It's in water. So first, we need to balance the molecular equation, and then we can write the net ionic equation. Looking at this, this equation is already balanced. So that makes it a bit easier. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. HBr, this is a strong acid, so we're going to have this aqueous. This will dissolve in water, so let's put a little AQ after it. So for KHCO3, compounds with potassium, very soluble. We're going to put an AQ for aqueous. That'll dissolve and dissociate. Again, another potassium compound. And we know that carbon dioxide here, that's going to be a gas. And then the water, that's going to be a liquid. So we have the states for our net ionic equation. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. That's going to give us the complete ionic equation. So hydrogen group one, that's going to be one plus, and then the bromide ion, that's one minus. So we'll have H plus, plus that Br minus, the bromide ion, potassium group one, and this hydrogen carbonate ion, that whole thing is one minus. So we'll have K plus, then we'll have that HCO3, minus. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have KBr, so plus and minus. So we have K plus, that's the potassium ion, just like we have in the reactants, plus the bromide ion, Br minus, just like the reactants. And then we don't split gases or liquids apart in net ionic equations. So we'll have our CO2 and we'll have our H2O. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So let's see, in the reactants here, we have the bromide ion. In the products, we also have the bromide ion. Let's cross that out, that's a spectator ion. We have the potassium ion in the reactants, and again in the products, that's a spectator ion. We cross it out, what's left, that's the net ionic equation for HBr plus KHCO3. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our balanced net ionic equation for hydrobromic acid plus potassium hydrogen carbonate. You'll note we have the same number of atoms on each side, so the equation's balanced like that. And the charge, it's balanced as well. Positive and negative, this gives us a net charge of zero. In the products, these are all neutral, net charge of zero. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for HBr plus KHCO3. Thanks for watching.